This video is mainly for everyone who doesn't really know how to apply their lashes, doesn't really know your like your eye shape. Has anyone really told you about cutting your lashes to your eye shape? Do your eyes droop when you put lashes? Do you feel like when you close your eyes you have those swiggly lines? If you do, this video is for you. Keep watching because I'm going to get it into all. But before you do, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 8 p.m. Also, stay tuned for a giveaway. A giveaway. Woo, woo. Unfortunately, it's Australia only because of what it is. But get ready. Beauty and skin lovers, even fragrance lovers, get ready, honey. Stay tuned. I forgot to say this, so sorry, guys. I won't go like this. Don't F with me. I'm a Barbie. I don't know where that came from, but I felt like it just was a vibe for this look. I know I look so weird right now without lashes, but let's just get to the video. And I swear when I have my lashes on, I will look more... I will look more put together, shall I say? Mm -hmm. Ooh, did not blend her well. I am not with it today. Sorry, my loves. Okay, so basically, here is a chart of different eye shapes. So the first thing you want to do before figuring out how to apply a lash is figure out what eye shape you are. Once you've established that, let's move on to the next step. So this is the chart. I'll just leave it here. If you want to keep watching, just pause it. Secondly, you want to figure out what do you want the lash to do for your eye. I think of it like this. If I have a big liner, do I want my line to be covered by my lash or do I want a subtle lash? Do I want, do I want to wear no eyeshadow and I just want lashes? Or do I want to wear subtle eyeshadow and subtle lashes? You know, like if you have smaller eyes. Do I want that lash to completely cover my whole lid? Do I only want a flick lash? Like there are lashes. Oh, I actually just threw it out. I need to, I'm going to put a photo up somewhere. So this lash is just the end lash and that just gives you a flick. Now be careful which ones you go to, like go for. Just figure out what you want to do with the lash and figure out as well. If you buy a lash, are you going to wear it often? Don't buy a $40 lash if you're going to wear it once. I mean, do it if you want, but if you want to kind of be smart with your money, I think just figure out what you want to do. And also with the Ardell ones, you can use them up to 12 to 13 times. I've used them like 20 times plus because if you just know how to clean them properly, then, you know, you'll be fine. So if you want a video on that, let me know in the link below. I It's so easy. Like, honestly, I know you see a lot of um, videos where people just clean their lashes and it looks like it's such a process. It's so easy and I'm, <laughs> I can be very lazy. So, I mean, if I can do it, I'm sure you can do it too. Okay. The first thing you need is glue. Obviously, this is the Ardell glue. I, this isn't sponsored by the way. Um, this is just the Ardell glue. I've been using this since I started to try apply lashes. I used to apply lashes so bad. Like, honestly, I used to think I was doing such a good job. I'd close my eye, I'd put the lash on and then I'd open it. 80% of the time, my eye wouldn't open. <laughs> Or if it did open, it was like half on there, half falling. It was quite funny, but it did take me a little while to get there. And then once I got there, I was just like, this is the easiest thing. And I even remember I did this. Um, it wasn't a course, but it was like a makeup thing. I got paid and I did like lashes for, I swear to you, I literally counted. It was like 150 girls because I was there for like six hours. So yeah. And I was quick because, no, we were there for four hours. We were there for four hours and I did 160 girls because it was for our racehorse event. Um, yeah, it was crazy. But once you get the hang of it, girl, you're going to be a pro. So this is a lash I have from Ardell. And yeah, as you can see, I've used it quite a lot. Like it's curled and everything. So the first thing you want to do with a brand new lash is you want to get both ends and you want to wriggle it. I usually go for 10, so I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, quick funny story, you know how I was doing the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Um, Nick Cord, 
and <laughs> he asked like he needed help with something I put my lash down came back to start filming and the lash disappeared I have no idea where the hell I put it so we're gonna go with the left lash so I just wriggled it again so we did it this way now you want to do it the other way so this is only for a new lash if you've already used it you don't really need to like you can wiggle it a bit but it doesn't have to so I like to also wriggle it like that like you tuck it in so can you see so we go that way and then you flip it like that and you just hold it just so it's like really kind of wiggly I thought it might be on the floor but it's not there <laughs> I personally like taking the back of this I scoop up some glue now a little rule that I like to usually go by as thick as the band is is as thick as you want to apply your glue so for example I don't know if you guys can see it is a very thin band and then if I think I've applied too much I just go back in with that other side and I just kind of like spread it out so that's basically a reasonable amount maybe I applied a bit too much on the ends to be honest but that's pretty good because the glue has been sitting on there for a while I don't want to leave it too long but I still need I want to wait a little bit because it's fresh to this you're gonna come really close now hey how are you don't look at my skin please it's really it's so bad today I don't know why it's just it's not fun and it's my sister's birthday tomorrow so I didn't even want to wear makeup for a few days but I have to because we're going out so <laughs> anywho so this is how I personally like to apply my lash and I I found this helped me when I was learning so the reason I don't like to close my eye when I'm applying it is because it's so easy when you close your eye to apply it to your bottom lash that's how I used to close my eyes so I uh, like keep my eye closed when I used to try it <laughs> so an easy way I I personally do it is I look down so you want to okay this is where the the kung fu panda in you comes out you gotta open this eye the opposite eye and keep this eye shut a little bit but you can still look up and kind of see I personally like holding a mirror okay you look down you can still see the placement perfectly you know the mirror has to be down and your head kind of back yeah because the trick is you don't want to get your lashes and that is like a big key for me okay you don't ever want to get your lashes so you start by looking down okay mirror is here you look down I like personally to hold it on this edge so I like to make sure that that one end is placed when one end is placed then I could kind of wriggle around with it so oh by the way this is the side where all my breakouts are so please anyway so I look down I like to place it just there okay now once you've placed it there then I like to go in with the other edge and I kind of just mimic where I think it should go now I'm not gonna lie this one always annoys me because of how it looks like too close in so I'll take it off again I think the glue dried but it's okay and I'll go ahead and I'll place that where I want that to go okay because I want to place the end first and then I want to wriggle around with the rest so then I'll place that there Okay, then I'll look down and I just like to make sure it's all okay. I think the glide, the glide, I think the glue dried. Hold up, let me just real quick put it on because it did dry. I talk too much. You got the end right, then you go down. I personally like to lean on my nose so then your fingers are more stable. If your nose is so tiny and you can't lean, then I'm sorry that I can't help you with that issue. Um, but my nose is big enough to hold, so thank you, nose. And then you can look down and just make sure that she's all placed. And then the second test I like to do 
is you close your eye and you stamp that in. See how I'm closing my eye and it doesn't look like that swiggly line? You should be able to do this and see straight. You shouldn't come swiggly. When it comes swiggly, then you know it's not on properly. Now, that's how I would apply my lash. I feel like now it takes me like, it doesn't take me anything. It's, it's like the quickest thing ever. And just see the difference. I wish I could put my other lash on, but what a difference. I'm gonna get this like really bushy one. I used to love these. I still do love these. Um, I just haven't done a look where I have wanted to wear them yet, but I should actually because they're pretty cool. Now this band is way thicker. Can you, I don't know if, there you go. Can you see the difference? Yeah, I haven't taken off the glue, so don't worry about that, but can you see the difference? I'm gonna apply more glue because the band is thicker. Remember my rule? As thick as the band is, is as thick as you wanna apply your glue. Can you see the difference? Way more glue, way more. Now, with this, I have not worn this in a while, right? So it's probably tight AF. So we're gonna do our swigglies. You really wanna like, I, I see people just do that. I like to really like stretch everything. Kind of like you're stretching your legs, like really stretch. And then the other way, stretch. Now with this, this is more curved. So I'm gonna look down and I'm gonna kind of like open it up. And I'm still trying to find the edge first. Cause I feel like once you got the edge on, it's kind of just easier for everything. Then I like to get this other edge and I'll stamp that in place. Now I feel like that's too far down, so I'll just move it down. Hold it. And then get the other side. And you just wanna pin that to where your lash is. I personally like doing that anyway. You don't have to, but. Now, see why I like to push it in? Because if I didn't, this wouldn't be on my skin. Because I don't know if you can see, cause it's a huge lash, but it hasn't really like fit properly. So I like to push it and that is going to really help for when I close my eye, it's still to look this way. You know, you don't want the cringe. You don't want the crinkle because I'm sure you and I have both seen the crinkle. Which lash do you prefer? All right. So that's basically my easiest tips is just start from the end. like. Pinpoint, the tackier the glue is, the easier it will be for you to apply your lash. So just remember that. So just get the end, apply it where you want it. So where do you want it to end? You want it to end there? Great. You put it there. It's up to you where you want to apply it. Now, this is just my simple way. A little extra tip I'm going to share with you all is if you want your lash to accentuate your eye a little bit more, what you will do is you won't apply it, apply it, apply it. You won't apply it directly to your like lash. You apply it a little bit higher. And what that's going to do is that's going to elongate your eye. You just have to be careful about how far up you go. You can't go too dramatically far up unless you cover it with black liner to make it look like that's kind of like how your eye rolls. Otherwise, it will look a bit funky. If you want a video on how I do that, let me know. I didn't really want to incorporate that too much in this video because I feel like I just wanted to show you how I apply my lashes and a little bit about how to know what eye shape you know you are and how to uh, figure out what lashes you want because I found it very hard to figure out what lashes I wanted when I started out. I felt like I didn't really even know my eye shape. I always used to just think I had a like, caddish eyes because my mum used to tell me that actually. <laughs> my mum used to tell me I have cat eyes so that's where I get it from. I don't know, no one else really says that so I'm just gonna roll with it. <laughs> and she said, you know, and I just used to be like, okay, so I used to just type in cat eyelashes and I used to get them and they'd be really bushy sometimes and I like it, but I just feel like it covers, I feel like this is for like a really, I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't suit me anymore. What do you think? Like, should I try to do a look with this? I used to love these lashes. I don't know why I feel like 
Oh my god, that's so sad. I actually am not sure. I hope that helped and if that still doesn't help, I suggest trying maybe from this corner. I feel like when you start with the corner, it's so much easier where as opposed you're like, you want to start from the middle because how will you know the middle? Do you know what I mean? Start from the side, get the side, then you can play around. If you want to bring it a bit in, you can tug it when you straight away do it. Just wait 15 to 20 seconds, blow a little bit, put it on, and then once it's on, be quick. You know, just go for it. What do you, what do you have to lose? I personally like when look, I look down. If you think you can do it with your eyes closed, go for it. I just found when I did it with my eyes closed, I used to close my eyes, shut them, and they would not be open. I used to try with lashes like this, like, and then I'd be like, oh, wow, okay. Then I close my eyes at the end, and I make sure that they're pressed down, so when I shut, look, it's not a swiggly line. To be honest, my sister, I'm sorry, Joe, but I have to. She has swiggly lines all the time and I always tell her, let me take your lash off, let me redo it because it looks so bad when you blink. When you blink, it's like, can I, can I have a closer look? I'm not, I'm not really judging because I'm telling you, it happens to me too, it is what it is. But if you want to help a friend, tag them in this video, share it if you need to because I just feel like it's the basicest thing. Also, don't forget to start where... I forgot to say this. So sorry, guys. I like to start right... Not at the edge of my eye. A little bit further in. Because if you drag it too far out, your eye will start to look... It will start to do that. Um, I even used to do that. I'm not going to lie. My lashes used to be that long. It used to do that. So if you... Like, this lash is kind of doing it, to be honest. Do you see how this, like this side, I want you to see. Do you see how this side is kind of dragging down and this side looks more lifted? It's because this lash is a bit too long. I should have cut it a bit more. So you want to make sure that when you have your lash to make sure it fits your eye. So I like to test it without any glue first. Test your lash without any glue first on your eye. See if it's long. If you're not too sure, I think just glue it, who cares? I think it's better to glue it than to cut off too much and then you need more. No, no, no. Try it first. If you feel like it's too long, take it off. It's okay. Don't worry, be patient with these things. Once you get the hang of it, then you'll know exactly what to do. Practice makes perfect babies, okay? So then you want to make sure when you figure out, like sometimes I have to cut my lashes, so I had to cut this one. So then you want to cut a little bit, start a little, little bit. Don't do a lot. Even if you think you need a lot, start a little bit at a time. Keep measuring it. Keep measuring it because I feel like I've made the mistake where I've cut too much and then I'm like, okay, what do I do now? You know, so make sure you do that. And then when you, when you do it, oh, I just ripped it off. Silly me. I want you to see. Do you see how, like, I know it's not like I just ripped it off, but. Do you see how it's a right where my lash is? Because if I bring it any further past there, sorry, any further past there, then my eye's gonna droop down. Similar to how that one is. You know what I mean? So just be wary of how long your lash is. I feel like that's something no one talks about is the length of your lashes. Some beautiful, some, you know, some people have beautifully long eyes. Some people have beautifully small eyes. My mom has extremely small eyes. So I have to cut the lash very small, but I have to because if I left it long, it would make her eye look bizarre unless you want to leave it a bit long so you get the cat eye effect that's a whole different video but i just remembered about that and i needed to include that because i have made the mistake where my lash is too long and then you look like your it looks like your eyes drooping no matter how much liner and, con and concealer whatever you have there your eyes are gonna look saggy girl so make sure you cut your lashes to your length if you think it's a bit short don't worry just move it in and put more mascara there and it'll look like you have a full lash. It's fine, okay? So just make sure you do that. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you have tried this or want to try this or do try this and it works and it helped you, let me know. Leave me a comment in the description bar below. If it doesn't or you're a bit stuck, let me leave me a comment. I'll reply. I'll try to help you as much as I can. And yeah, which eye do you prefer? 
Do you want the girl next door eye or do you want the I woke up like this, don't F with me, I'm a Barbie. I don't know where that came from, but I felt like it just was a vibe for this look. Mwah. Love you.